What's up everybody? Welcome back to my vlog. It has been a very, very hot minute since I posted my last vlog. It's been exactly 290 days and 18 hours since I posted my last vlog on March 14th, 2019. And I felt like I wanted to post one more vlog before the year turned because I started this in, the, in January and um, did it for like two months. But there's a reason why both the vlog and my Instagram posting on my health page stopped at the same time. Might go into that in a future video, but no promises. But in general, I'm really excited for the new direction of the vlog. Um, I'm not going to say what the video is going to include, but it's me a lot less. I felt like in March, in February, and January, when I was doing the vlog in the beginning, I don't regret any of the vlogs, and I liked all the ones I made, but I try too hard to stick to one topic. Um, I've always loved health, and I do believe that everything and anything affects your health. But that being said, all my videos were like very physically health related, like five tips for health and workout videos, which I don't, know, I don't feel like that encompassed my whole vision or my life. And I also just want to get back to documenting my life for my own benefit in the future. I like looking back on my life and like, oh, I did this then. So the new direction of the vlog is going to be way more expansive. Um, I'm going to do things like filming all my camera gear. Today I'm going to go over all my, my vlogging setup, like what camera I'm filming on right now, and just, you know, food videos, a few other ideas I don't want to say because I don't want to commit myself to anything. But for me, it's going to feel a lot different, and hopefully you guys will recognize that too. So that being said, um, I'm excited. I hope you are too. Just put myself back out there. Sometimes it's hard to put yourself out there because you are open for critique. Um, people can say things about you and like people that would watch my vlogs, they don't necessarily agree with everything I say. That's fine. My life is different than everyone else's life and I kind of want to go in more of like a teaching. I don't know. I do a bunch of random stuff and that's how my life has always been. I've just done, I don't know, like I've been drawing on my computer recently. Um, I do the podcast, vlogging, video editing. I'm in PT school, which is not really related to any of that. Um, can be. My future company will be a mixture between media and physical therapy. And, um, but just want to encompass more of my whole life and just put my, my uh, passions out there. So hopefully, like, if someone's watching this and they see my vlog set up, they might want to start their own vlog. Or if they, like, see all my photography equipment, all my lenses and my cameras and me explaining that in, like, layman's terms, they would get into photography because I had people that got me into photography and videography and that's completely changed my life. So I'm excited and next I'm going to delve into my current vlogging setup. I've had this setup since I first started the vlog. Guess got a new mic yesterday, but I will go in depth about all that. So let's get started and welcome back to my vlog. Alright, so we're going to go over everything that I use for my... Uh, vlog set up for my camera. Currently, I switched cameras compared to the first scene. I'm shooting on my Canon. All my stuff is Canon. On a Canon 70D right now. It has a flip out screen. Um, but I did not show this in the first scene. You'll see the differences in a, mo in a moment. So the first thing I want to start with is this tripod. Or actually, I want to start with the camera base. So I use a Canon 100D or SL1. Um, it's very small compared to many other Canons. It is about four inches wide that way, about an inch and a half deep, and then, um, yeah, it's really light. It's, like, it's almost like over a pound, I think, but super light compared to most Canon DSLRs. Um, a lot of people are going, this is about four years old after Christmas, a lot of people are going to mirrorless cameras now for uh, vlogging, so the Sony mirrorless cameras are a great place to start. Canon is actually catching up to Sony in terms of mirrorless, but mirrorless versus DSLR, you can see in there there's a mirror, so the image will come in and the, it'll reflect off the mirror up into the sensor, and that's what you get your image with. With mirrorless cameras, it goes straight back into the sensor, and that's there's no mirror. 
people will still use both. Um, there's there's pros and cons for each, and that's a whole other video. I'm Canon just came out with a new mirrorless camera that's within my price range. So I'm looking at that, but well, not my price range. I don't have any money to spend right now, but within a reasonable price range for anybody wanting to start a vlog. I'll link that below. It's called the Canon M50, and it'd be even better than this camera to start for vlogging. But this is a 100D or SL1. So this is the smallest type of Canon camera you can buy, DSLR type, like I said. And it has 18 megapixels, which is the resolution. So if I were to blow this video up on a billboard, it would not be nearly as good as this camera, which has about 22 megapixels. And um, the, new, the new Sony mirrorless and new ones have like upwards of 26 or 24 megapixels. Not a huge deal for vlogging. So this is the Canon camera. I saw one, it was about $500 when I first got it, but now you can buy it for like less than $300, and if you want to buy refurbished, it's probably less than $200. Now to go into the camera, I use not a Canon lens, but I use a Tamron lens, which is a third-party seller. And this is 17 to 55 uh, f2.8 stop with um, ultra-wide angle. Now the reason why I chose this as my vlogging lens is for two reasons. The f2.8 stop, which means it's your aperture, aper aperture, aperture, um, that's the amount of light that the camera lets in. So the more light that the camera lets in, the more blurred your background is going to be. If you like photos, when the iPhone X came out or the portrait mode came out on iPhone, that's aperture. They lower the aperture and you need a nicer lens for it and that's what makes that blurred background. This camera does pretty much what portrait mode does on your iPhone, but with video. And so 2.8 is a good place to start. I bought this brand new for $350 um, from a camera site, but the reason why I went with Tamron versus Canon is because if I would have bought the same identical lens on Canon, it would have been upwards of $900 to $1,000. The second reason why it costs more than a typical lens, like this one on my camera right now, is about $80. This one was 300 because of that low aperture, aperture, and the second one is because it's an ultra wide angle, so it kind of makes it look like the fishbowl effect. Um, but it's good for vlogging because it opens up. This is a square type frame right now. The last video was kind of more. Um, it opens the edges up a little bit and looks more like a fishbowl. So that in combination with the low aperture makes that vlog effect, um, and you can just really concentrate on my face and my body. So I just screw this in. Um, kind of heavy, the lens is like twice as heavy as the camera, but that's what we have so far. I keep it on 17, you can lock it. Um, so that's my camera setup so far. The third piece I do is this mic. Um, this, is a, this is a Rode Video Micro mic. Um, it has a little stabilization thing on it so I can bounce it around and it's like a little gyroscope thing. But this is a condenser mic, um, so it'll point wherever this points. It collects sound from. It won't collect sound from behind me, behind the camera, or beside the camera. It's all in front of pointing wherever it's going. This was originally a hundred dollars when I first got it two years ago. My brother brought me one for my birthday, but then my puppy chewed it up, so I haven't been using one for a while. These are now fifty dollars online on Amazon or anywhere else you go, Best Buy. I would definitely recommend the Rode brand over any other mic you find on Amazon. I bought one for $30 and it was crap. It had static the whole time. So just pay the extra $20 to get the name brand. And you just slide it in. Here there's a little slot on top of the camera. You just slide it in, tighten it up, and then in the side there's a three millimeter, like what your headphones would be, um, jack for the headphones plug it in. The main reason why I use this one, besides the price, it's only $50 compared to like $100, $150 for the other road bikes, is because it uses the battery of the camera for its power. The other ones you have to use batteries, which sucks because you have to turn the mic on every time you turn the camera on. So if you're just trying to shoot vlogs real fast, not realistic, for me at least, I don't enjoy necessarily turning on the mic every time. And half the time I forget, so when you have no sound coming in the camera and you have to completely reshoot the video. This little thing, I call it the little mouse, the little mice thing, it looks like a mouse. goes on top um, to block out any of the wind noise, any popping from my mouth. And so this is what <clears throat> I will carry around half the time, just like this. Um, bounce, as you can see. 
obviously a lot bulkier with this lens and uh, microphone on. Could have a smaller setup, and this is very, people notice this, but I don't really care. This is what I would walk around the store with. Um, the tripod makes it even bulkier. But this is a good setup for my vlog, and it gives me great image quality. The tracking, the autofocus is the only thing my complaint, and the reason why I want to upgrade to a different camera is because the one I'm shooting with right now, the 70D, has much better autofocus, which is a combination of both the camera and the lens. And this combination, that's the only downfall is the autofocus. If it's not focused on my face right when I start the frame or the camera shot, then it'll have a hard time following my face. Once it's um, set on my face and I start talking, it'll follow me and it's perfect. But this lens, a lot of vlog cameras have that uh, turnout type lens where you can you know, see yourself like I am right now. And you can turn the screen out and see yourself, but this does not have that. It is touch screen, which is nice, but it is not. I can't see myself when I vlog, which I... It's nice, I don't like not staring myself like I am right now. But the autofocus in combination with no screen really sucks. So I've reshot many things. All right, this is the setup with the Rode mic on, the SL1 camera, the white one with the ultra wide zoom angle, um, f2.8 lens, Tamron, and then the JBL or the Joby tripod. So the first thing you'll notice with the lens is the background is more blurred and the frame looks a little more fishbowl-y. Now, this is with the tripod. If I take my tripod off, and this is just me holding my camera with my arm. Next thing is the difference in the mic quality with, with and without the extended mic. So this is talking with the mic, and this is talking without the mic. Definitely more echoey, um, you can tell the difference. So talk, 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 talk with. Big difference, definitely when you're talking outside, would definitely help with reducing wind noise and any other pop 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 noise. The last part is my Joby um, Gorilla Pod tripod. This thing is nice because each little thing bends individually. You can mold it into one and then hold it like this, which I do for when I'm walking around vlogging. Gives a little more depth to the camera uh, on my face, but you just screw it in the top bottom of the camera, like most DSLRs. And this is my finished setup. So this is pretty big, um, definitely noticeable, but smaller than most vlogging setups for professional vloggers. But I do like it because you can go like this and it adds that extra foot and height to my lens that I can't get if I don't have a tripod on. So when I'm around the house, I use this and um, you might be able to tell the sound quality because there's no mic on the lens right now, but this camera has been through hell and back with me. I love it. And I'm perfectly content with it right now. So, but honestly, if you're looking to start a vlog, the best lens and quality video and mic you can get to start a vlog is definitely your cell phone. Whether you have an iPhone or a Google phone, um, especially with the new iPhone, this, this lens right here is just as good. It, almost as good as this camera. You can't do as much with it, but it is incredible and honestly the best mic, your phones are made for talking. So one of the best mics you can use um, is your phone mic. So if you want to start vlogs, pick it up and go like this or this camera backwards would be better. But this is a setup I use for my vlog um, and I hope you enjoyed me talking about it, but if you ever wonder what my camera looks like, that's what it is. Thank you all for watching. Um, I'm excited for the uh, new direction of the vlog. And yeah. Peace out. No, it's good. All right, I'll see you later. One last thing I'm filming on my iPhone now. This is the SL1 compared to my Canon 70D. Definitely a big difference in size. Um, so you can see the big difference there. Definitely a lot heavier, um, but that's the last difference in size right there. Now, it is December 29th, which means it's Sunday, and still, for the past three years, I eat a whole pizza every Sunday. So the vlog would not be complete without Pizza Sunday. Tonight we have a Kroger's 
self rising crust, double bacon pizza. Um, here she is right now. Usually I'll put like mushrooms or something on top. Um, I usually go with, I rarely do the self rising crust from Kroger's because it's just so thick. Um, but I haven't eaten all day besides a little bit with my mom. And so I'm starving. So I'm about to eat the pizza. I usually on Sundays I do eat the whole pizza. And let's just put this in perspective. There is 300 times six, um, which is 1800 calories in one pizza. Um, so I usually eat a whole pizza every Sunday and I try not to eat, not that I really count calories on Sundays in particular because my pizza, as I explained before, is my way to reset for the week. Um, so I'm not really worried about the calories in the pizza, it's just more of a mental mindset. Uh, it does help me reset. But that, the puppy's 1800 calories. I usually get the tombstone pizzas, which are a little bit less crust, which helps bring down the calories a little bit and just less filling. Um, but I'm gonna wrap up filming, or wrap up editing the vlog, eat my pizza, and relax the rest of tonight. Um, thank you all again for watching. Um, I'm excited. So, until next time, I will see you hopefully soon.